Hey, looks like I finally found you. What are you looking for over there? There's nothing but trees that way. <sighs> Stay still for me. You thought I was over there? Good guess, but too bad for you this time. So, what exactly compelled you to wander in here tonight? Or do you plan on feigning innocence? <sighs> Don't even try anything. It was over once I caught you. You shouldn't have stopped running. Hiding against this tree isn't going to do much, especially against someone who doesn't only rely on sight alone. I guess it's tough to see with only just a small bit of moonlight to guide you. And this haze does have a way of sneaking up on you the deeper you get into the forest, making it difficult to find your way out. Uh-uh. Come on. Where do you think you're going now? No. Why don't we stay right against this tree that you're so fond of? And don't fidget so much. Oh, you're trying to distract me. Mm. That's what it feels like, though. It doesn't matter. This game of cat and mouse is already over. It was entertaining enough that I actually ended up enjoying myself tonight. And they say nothing happens in this quiet and boring town. I'm sure you've heard that one before yourself. <sighs> Could you not be so dramatic? The more you squirm, the worse it's gonna be for you. Especially with how fragile you are. Human bodies do break so easily. That's just speaking from experience, though. I don't want you to make this harder for yourself. But if that's what you prefer, then that's also a valid option. <laughs> this situation could be made so much fucking worse for you. Oh, easy there. That being said, I wouldn't want to have to break you. Especially not before I've even had a chance to get your name and why you're here. So, can you stop moving around so much for me? That's the one thing potential prey shouldn't be doing in front of a werewolf. That and turning your back to one like you just did earlier. It's a friendly piece of advice. Doing so only narrows our attention on you more. And it sparks our primal desire to hunt, making it harder and harder to remain rational until finally only our bare instincts remain wholly fixated on our prey. But... I'll let your imagination fill in the rest with whatever you prefer. So, unless you're trying to get me excited. Uh, uh, clearly, you still don't get it. I'll give you one last warning. Hold still for me. You came into this forest tonight with nothing to protect you. No weapons, no backup, not even a warding charm. All you have are the clothes on your back. And even then, something so thin won't even be able to protect you from the cold. <sighs> Let's see. Relax. I'm just inspecting you for anything that I may have missed. Oh, I know you can feel 
feel it. The sensation of my claws tracing along your body with this thin piece of cloth that's barely hiding anything. Really, it's the only thing stopping me from reaching your skin. If I was applying even a little bit of pressure, oh, you can imagine. It would be so easy right now. <clears throat> Straight down the center. Just uh, like this. That's why I've been telling you to stay still for me. Hmm, what's this? Is the cold getting to you? Uh, are you sure? What are my fingers feeling then? You wouldn't want some help getting them warmed up? <sighs> the expression you're wearing is so cute. But what did I do to deserve it? This isn't hurting you, is it? <sighs> Quite the opposite, I imagine, right? You're the one who encroached on territory that doesn't belong to you. Hmm. <laughs> so spirited, but it's not gonna do you any good. I'll tell you what, I won't even make any moves to harm you. As long as you agree to settle down for me, alright? Oh, God. There you go. That's so much better. I prefer it if neither of us had to waste our energy on pointless actions. You see, I'm really not as bad as you think. I'm reasonable and open to talk, despite what you may have heard about werewolves. Am I the one that ambushed you now? I don't appreciate that kind of accusation. From what I recall, you're the one who decided to come here, to a place where humans are not welcome. So, I was just taking care of an intruder. If anything, this was simply an act of self-defense on my part. You started it by provoking me. Oh, was that not your intention? Then what? The scent of this town is all over you. So, I know that you must have been around long enough to have heard the tales by now. If you must travel at night, move in groups. And, under no circumstances should you step foot into the woods. Especially on a night like this. After all, there are countless unexplained disappearances and sightings of large animals that all trace their origins back here. Many of these remain unsolved. So, what would you prefer for me to do next? Should I release your arm and let you go just like that? You could run straight out of the forest, as if this whole night was all a bad dream. You think there's no way I'd let you go that easily? Hmm, and what are you basing that on? You don't know what I'm like. Well then, does that mean you don't want me to let you go? <laughs> of course. I don't know if asking nicely would really cut it. Maybe if you begged for it. Yeah, I want you to beg me to let you go. What will you do? Hmm, would you care to repeat that for me? <sighs> what do you think you're doing? Oh, that was...
was a big mistake. <sighs> so, you really were hiding something after all. Precautions, I assume. Maybe you really do know more than you let on. <sighs> you really should have taken me up on my offer, though. Because now you've just pissed me off. What? You thought you would catch me off guard with that and run while I was busy licking my wounds? Too bad for you. Ordinary metal doesn't work. Especially when you don't have the strength to back it up. It was way too shallow. Look, it's already healing too. Right before your very eyes. What were you honestly expecting? You seriously thought this little thing would protect you? You can't do anything with just that. At the very least, you should have dipped it in Wolf's Bane. Looks like that was the only trick you had on hand. Too bad. Now, it's my turn. You know, I feel you deserve to know at least this much. I was being truthful when I said that I'd let you go. Yeah, he could have just slipped right out as if this never happened. But I guess you don't need any mercy from me after all. Since you clearly intend on putting up a fight, maybe it's time for me to return the favor. <sighs> don't you think so? <sighs> you really dare to attack me, huh? Thought you could do something. The only thing you managed to do was put me in a foul mood. All you had to do was play along with me for a little bit. But now... Oh, I'm gonna have to pay you back properly before I can let you go. That is, if you can move by the time I'm finished with you. Look, I told you it would be so easy. Oh, tell me how this feels. You are gonna learn your place. You're gonna understand exactly what happens to human trespassers like you.